Alright, today I want to introduce you to 2.3 factorization of ax squared plus bx plus c. ax squared plus bx plus c is known as a quadratic expression. Okay, let me underline that for you. Okay, it's known as a quadratic expression. Why is it known as a quadratic expression? The word quadratic expression here will tell us that the greatest power of x is 2. Okay, this is x squared. So for a quadratic expression, comma, the greatest power of x is 2. Alright, okay. Now, we also recap from this, um, the previous chapter 2.2. When you expand 2x plus 7 times 3x minus 5, you put 2x times 3x minus 5. Remember the one where we have 2x times 3x, 2x times negative 5, then we get this portion here, and we get 7 times 3x, and 7 times negative 5. Okay, that's why we get uh, 6x squared minus 10x plus 21x minus 35. You collect like terms, you get 6x squared plus 11x minus 35. This whole process here is known as expansion. Now, in this chapter 2.3, we will learn the reverse process of uh, expansion and the reverse process of expansion is called factorization. So basically we will learn how to get from 6x squared plus 11x minus 35. Okay, we can work backwards, right, and we factorize it right into 2x plus 7 and 3x minus 5. So that is the purpose of chapter 2.3. Without much further ado, let's begin with a simple example. x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, you notice that I have actually put x squared and 10 in green and pink because that's for a reason. So, we will now remember our good friend here, the multiplication frame. Okay, Mr. Multiplication frame, first I'll write down x squared, okay, and I'll also write down the plus 10 here. Okay, so now we now work backwards, right, and then we think to ourselves, okay. We, because factorization is a reverse process of expansion, okay, so we ask ourselves, x squared, how do we get x squared? What multiplied by what gives me x squared? Simple question enough, okay, so simply we put x multiplied by x will give me x squared. Okay, now, 10, alright, how do we get 10? There are few ways to get 10. 10 can be 1 times 10. Okay, 10 can also be 2 times 5. So in this case, all right, next time I'll show you a wrong example. But in this case, I will choose the correct one of 2 times 5. See, 2 times 5 gives me 10. So now that we have this one, we have to go and check right, whether this is correct or not. How do we check whether this is correct or not? Okay. What we do here is this. First, I will say, I will check by saying 2 times x is 2x, and 5 times x is 5x. Notice I've written it in black. Okay, then I test it out. Huh? 5x plus 2x is 7x. Okay, I repeat one more time. Plus 5x plus 2x is plus 7x. So in this case, my entire factorization is actually correct because this 7x actually corresponds to this 7x over here. So my factorization is actually correct. So I just read off x plus 2 is multiplied to x plus 5. And my factorization for x squared plus 7x plus 10 is complete. Now I shall show you if I had made a wrong choice here, what will happen? Let me draw our good friend multiplication frame once again. Okay, quickly I draw multiplication frame. Alright, what happens here is this. I'm still referring to this example. Okay, I go backwards one more time. I will start with the x square and the plus 10. Okay, the x square, no other choice but to write x and x. Okay, plus 10. You notice from here, 10 can be 2 times 5 and 1 times 10. So what happens if I had written 1 times 10 instead? Okay, maybe the 1 here is not so clear. Okay, 1 times 10. 
what happens here is this if I written down 1 times 10 I can put here 1 okay plus 1 and plus 10 if I written down 10 and 1 down here what happens is this 10 times x gives me plus 10x then 1 times x gives me plus x I check plus x plus x uh, plus 10x plus x gives me plus 11x let me write down for you 10x plus x is actually 11x however you notice here my middle term is actually 7x so in this case I actually figured right that if I put 1 and 10 here my multiplication frame is actually incorrect and thus the correct factorization should be here for all factorization there's only one single correct answer for the factorization okay so uh, alright what I mean is this it must be 2 and 5 it cannot have been 1 and 10 also if you notice okay x plus 2 x plus 5 if you had written it the other way around x plus 5 and x plus 2 your answer is still correct as I've discussed before in class for example if a number let's say uh, 5 times 7 okay is the same as writing 7 times 5 that is why if you have written x plus 2 x plus 5 you return it the other way x plus 5 times x plus 2 is like switching them over is still the same answer both of these answers are correct so there is no cause for worry if you have written any either okay so do not write both either is correct and that concludes my first part of the factorization of a quadratic expression